quaternary form is a form that has three main sections. An opening section that presents melodic and harmonic material, a middle section that is contrasting, and a restatement of the opening section. This gives ternary form a basic formal diagram of A, B, A. Depending on how much liberty is taken with the restatement of the A section, the formal diagram could be A, B, A prime. The discussion of ternary form affords us an opportunity to discuss an important concept of musical composition, the idea of statement, contrast, restatement. This basic concept governs the way in which many musical forms are put together. In many pieces, there is a presentation of material at the beginning. This statement introduces the listener to the thematic and harmonic material of the piece. We often say that the first statement of musical material is expository in function. In writing, an exposition is a setting forth of the meaning or purpose of the written content. In an exposition, you tell the reader what it is you are going to write about. In music, an exposition has the same purpose, to set forth the musical ideas that the listener will encounter in a piece. In order to create tension and to increase the length of the piece, a section of contrasting material is often employed. This section could have key changes, transitional material, or have developmental material. Music that has a developmental function creates instability by manipulating previously heard themes and motives. Developmental function has many of the same characteristics of transitional function discussed in the module on binary form, but tends to be longer and to have more active and more complex texture. As stated earlier, the goal of the contrasting section is to create tension. The restatement brings back opening material and releases the tension of the contrasting section because we return to familiar melodic and harmonic material. The restatement generally returns to and concludes in the tonic home key. Ternary form contains these exact traits of statement, contrast, and restatement. The opening A section presents melodic and harmonic material. It can be either open or closed. The B section has contrasting melodic material, can contain modulations, and can be developmental. It too can be either open or closed. The restatement is a return to the opening A material. It is tonally closed, ending in the home key. It can be an exact restatement of the opening A section, or can offer some variation of the opening A section. This sounds very similar to rounded binary form, but there are some major differences between rounded binary and ternary form. In rounded binary, the repeat encapsulates both the B and the return of the A section, grouping them into one unit. In ternary form, the B section and the return of the A section are independent of one another. In ternary form, the amount of A material that is restated is equal to or longer than the original statement, rather than abbreviated as in rounded binary form. Finally, in ternary form, the B section is much longer than in rounded binary and can have not only transitional, but also developmental function. Theorists often argue over whether rounded binary form is a binary or a ternary form. What's most important, though, is to understand the differences between the function of the B and the return of the A sections in both rounded binary and ternary form. Ternary forms can be simple, meaning that they are small and that each section is a sentence, period, repeated phrase, or phrase group. Here's an example of a simple ternary form, and here's what it sounds like.
The first section begins in C major. The opening phrase lasts for four measures and ends with a half cadence in measure four. The second phrase begins in the same way as the first, lasts for four measures, and ends with an imperfect authentic cadence in measure eight. The opening eight measures represent a parallel interrupted period. Because the opening eight measures do not modulate, this section is closed. Here is what the formal diagram of the A section looks like. The B section begins with a direct modulation to the key of G major, the dominant of the opening home key. The B section deviates from the paradigm of ternary form because while the middle section does modulate, and that is in itself contrasting to the A section, it does not offer much more in the way of transitional or developmental material. It is simply a restatement of the A section in the key of the dominant with a few alterations. The eighth note accompaniment pattern is now in the right hand, and the cadence in the second phrase is a perfect authentic cadence. The B section also represents a parallel interrupted period, but because it does not end in the home key, this section is open. An anacrusis leads us back to the restatement of A. Here is what our formal diagram looks like for both the A and B sections. The A section returns with a direct modulation back to the home key of C major. It is an almost exact restatement of the opening section, with only a slight change of replacing the half note G in measure 6 with a continued ascent to A in measure 22, and an alteration to the bass line in measure 24 to create a perfect authentic cadence. The return of the A section is a complete restatement. Here is what the formal diagram of the entire piece looks like. Each section is a parallel interrupted period. The B section contrasts with the A section because of the modulation to the dominant. The return of the A section is a complete restatement with slight variation of the original A section. Listen to the piece again while following along with the formal diagram. Ternary forms can also be compound, meaning that one or more of the sections is in itself a self-contained binary or ternary form. Think of a compound ternary form as a ternary form in which one or all of its sections has an embedded binary or ternary form in it. It's like the musical version of Inception, a form within a form. Compound ternary forms most often exist as larger ternary forms, perhaps the middle movement of a symphony or sonata, or as da capo movements, such as a minuet and trio, or a da capo aria. These forms are easy to spot because of the text da capo that occurs on the score. The idea of statement, contrast, restatement was already evident in rounded binary form, in which the small transitional B section offered contrast to the opening A section. It was expanded in ternary form as the B section became its own self-contained unit. The idea of statement, contrast, restatement is expanded even further in sonata principles that govern the composition of sonata forms.